Hey everybody out there, I am your EOT educator and today I am gonna tell you some interesting stuff about speedometers and the odometers. So these speedometers and the odometers, they are usually seen in automobiles, isn't it? So the first question you might be having is that, why do I need to study this? Why do I need to know the science part of it? There is a famous quote, I don't remember who said it, but it says that you learn the best when you ask. So keep in mind, never hesitate to ask anything. If you have it, you just ask it, be it even tiny things. So now you have your vehicle, isn't it? You drive it, you go to the places, you go to trip, you come back. The purpose of vehicle is solved, exactly. But this is not we are, what we are made for. We all are science students, isn't it? So we need to know each and every minute things about it. How does it work? Why is it so? What does it do? Why do we need them? Now if you take a closer look and observe the vehicles, you will see a big cluster of some gauges and some meters right in front of the driver. This cluster of meters in, into which we have a meter called as speedometer, which of course tells us the speed. So we all already know that what is speed. I have taught you this already. What is it? What is the formula? Distance upon time. Speed equals distance divided by time. So the speedometers, they tell me the speed that yes, Nagesh, your speed is this, this much. And but this speed is at a particular instant. So if my speedometer says, let us say it is, it is selling me 40 km per hour speed. It means that if anyhow I am able to drive my vehicle consistently at this speed, it, I would be able to make 40 km in one hour. As simple as that. But as we know that we cannot drive at constant speeds. We encounter traffic, signals, pedestrians. So we need to reduce or sometimes accelerate the speed. So this speedometers, it tells me the instantaneous speed and not the average speed. Then we have another meter, which is the odometer, which tells me the distance that I have covered. Of course, in kilometers, it tells me that it tells me the distance and not the displacement. Both are different, as we all know. If I say I went, I went to place B from place A. If I straightly go from A to B using an aeroplane, I would have to cover the minimum distance possible. So this minimum distance is the displacement. But my vehicle can't fly in the air, of course. So I need to go by the roads. But no road in this world is straight from one location to the another location. There are turns, there are some corners. So I need to cover all these zigzags. So the odometer tells me the distance that I have actually covered on the road and not the actual distance between the two points. So with this, we are done with the video. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. Thank you.